ever considered like how hackable a giant cargo ship could be? Yeah, you heard that right. Cybersecurity at sea. We're going deep on that today with, with this Marlink Global Maritime Cyber Threat Report H1 2024. And trust me, the stuff in here is not just about someone swiping your tunes while you're sailing. Yeah, no, this is a uh, this is serious business. We're talking like global impact. Right. It's it's pretty wild how much the maritime industry has become this like intricate digital web, right? Ships these days are basically like floating cities all hooked up, relying on tech for, for everything. Okay, so like instead of maps and compasses, we've yeah. got navigation, cargo the management, you name it, it's all digital. So are we talking same vulnerabilities as a city on land? Or is there something about being on the water that hackers, you know, that they exploit? That is the million dollar question. And, yeah. and the answer is, it's a bit of both. You see, while they share some of the same vulnerabilities as land-based systems, the thing is, ships, they have this whole other layer of challenges. Their reliance on satellite communication, for example, makes them prime targets for signal jamming or even hijacking. Mm. And being out in the middle of nowhere, well, that means slower response times if an attack does happen. So what are we talking about here? What are the biggest threats? Because the report, this report says over half of the attacks are, get this, phishing. Yep. Phishing. Seriously. Yeah. That's wild. Why are maritime targets so susceptible to something so, I don't know, basic? Right. Over 50%. That's huge. And you're right. It does seem kind of basic. But think about it. Crews on these ships, they change all the time. Different time zones might not always have the latest security updates or the training. Right. It creates this like perfect storm for a phishing attack to just boom succeed and the report doesn't sugarcoat the consequences either not at all we're not just talking about like someone stealing your credit card info here this right. is think system disruptions messed up arrival times delays across the entire supply chain oh wow or worse what if someone hacks the navigation system okay see now that's just getting scary so we've got phishing hmm. but it doesn't stop there right there's also malware and ransomware, the report says. Exactly. And this is where it gets really interesting. And by interesting, I mean terrifying. We're seeing more and more malware designed to specifically target a ship's operational technology. Operational technology? What does that even... The systems that control the engines, the ballast, cargo handling. This isn't just your computer crashing. This is real world chaos. You know, the report actually mentioned a case where malware led to quote unquote, incorrect loading of cargo. Oh yeah. What does that even mean? How does that even happen? So in that case, the malware, it basically messed with the ship's cargo management system. This system, it's supposed to make sure everything is loaded in a very specific order, right? Keeps the ship balanced. Right, right. But the malware screwed up the sequence, things went haywire and boom, you've got instability, damaged cargo. And I'm guessing a whole lot of paperwork. Oh yeah. Insurance claims, lawsuits, it's a mess. And it highlights how one ship's problem becomes everyone's problem. Exactly. This is global supply chains we're talking about. On a massive scale. So what can be done? Like, is there any way to stop this? Well, it has to start with awareness. The more people who know about this, the better. We need robust cybersecurity training, but like tailored for the maritime environment. Yeah, because what works on land doesn't necessarily translate at sea. Right. OK, so training. What else? Stronger security protocols. Like what? multi-factor authentication, intrusion detection systems, regular security audits. Okay. But it can't just be about the tech. We need a culture of cybersecurity. So shared responsibility then. Exactly. Companies, countries, everyone working together. We need global collaboration. Man, this is, this is a lot. Cybersecurity at sea, this has been eye-opening to say the least. It's just the tip of the iceberg, really. I believe it. But the big takeaway, the one thing I hope everyone listening remembers, is that securing the digital world, it means understanding the risks to the physical world, too. That connection, it matters whether you work in maritime or just, you know, rely on things getting where they need to be. It all comes back to that, doesn't it? That's a, that's a great point to end on. For our listeners, if you want to go even deeper on this, check out the full report, Marlink Global Maritime Cyber Threat Report H1 2024. We'll drop a link in the show notes. Until next time. Stay curious.